Hey, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Tiffany. And don't judge me off how I'm looking right now. This is not my final form, all right? I just did a face mask from Wander Beauty. What's this right here? Let me see. The Lift Off Purifying and Brightening Peel Off Mask. And I'm looking and feeling like a new person right now. Like, I don't do face masks often, but when I do, um... I'm acting brand new, all right? So, um, we're gonna be doing a get ready with us. Me and Brian are going on date night tonight. We're going out to dinner, and then we're gonna be going to the bar because if you can't have fun with your boo, then why are they your boo? I mean, you know, it's not important. I just, it's not important. Um, but yeah, if you guys are interested in seeing me, you know, you know, transform, and you know, be on a thousand, then, Without further ado, let's just jump right into the video. So I zoomed y'all in already a little bit and we're going to hop right into the face. So we're gonna moisturize with my Neutrogena moisturizer, you know, same old, same old. I'm pretty sure my hands are ashy, so I'm probably gonna rub the excess on my hands. Let me push this up. <laughs> Alrighty then, let's do that. I don't want to get it dirty. Um, so for primer, I'm going to be going back to what Ozzy but a goody, my Benefit Professionally. Y'all haven't seen me use this in a long time. Like I've been using my No Porbin Primer, but I was like, you know what? Nah, I'm finna go out and no bust down Tatiana. Um, so I'm gonna go back to this, and then I'm gonna be using my Too Faced Hangover RX Primer on the rest of my face. Y'all know, same old. Same old, nothing to see here, people. So for foundation today, I'm going to be taking my NARS Naturally Radiant Longwear Foundation. And honestly, y'all probably going to see this in a lot of my upcoming videos. I'm trying to use the rest of it before it expires because honestly, I'm not going to lie to y'all. Don't judge me. Even if it does, even if it has already, I'm going to finish this because this is bomb. And I'm going to finish it. I'm going to repurchase, but I'm going to finish this because I can't, I can't waste her. So I'm going to use a couple of new brushes today for my face and all that. So I picked up this Real Techniques brush set, the Everyday Essentials um, brush set from Walgreens. And it was $20 and it comes with four brushes and a sponge. So I was like, okay, all right, I see what y'all doing, Real Techniques. So this... Ugh. This is the foundation brush, so I'm going to use this today. We're going to see how this goes. I'm not 100% sure. Um, I've never used one of their like face brushes other than like their powder brushes. So we're going to see what's really good. Oh, I like how this just blended out. Like, can y'all see why this is one of my favorite foundations? Like, <laughs> she's bomb. Nars, Ben, I ever stop making it or. This brush, I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad at it. All right, all right, all right. Which concealer should I use? <laughs> to contour, I'm going to use my Fenty Beauty Matchstick. You know, same old, same old. Nothing new, nothing new to see here. Um, I'm just going to put this on and snatch up my face. I was supposed to lay my edges down while I did this video. And I forgot. And then I'm going to use my ColourPop No Filter Concealer in Dark 40 to highlight. Um, I put my contour on first because if y'all don't have this concealer, um, honey, she dries down. So you don't want her to be sitting too, too long because she gets to acting up and clapping all the way back. She don't play. Okay, I'm going to use this Fenty Beauty Matchstick in Suede to put over top of my lip. I just feel like I got a mustache and I need some extra coverage. So I think this would be perfect because it's cream and I think that's what we need in our lives. So like I said, I'm going to be using different um, products. I'm going to be using brushes. So I'm going to use this brush. This is a powder brush. It's supposed to be like the setting brush for setting powder, but I want to use it for concealer, so. Oh, this matchstick though. Okay. 
all right that brush is cute and all but i am going to go ahead and use a sponge because i feel like that's going to take way too long and this concealer dries down way too fast to be playing like that okay to set my highlighted areas and all that i'm going to be taking my beauty bakery flower powder in the translucent one and i guess i will do that off camera and my brows off camera and probably an eye off camera um and then we'll resume the show so i lied about going off camera to do my, the rest of my face and then coming back i'm going to do my eyes right now and then i'm going to proceed with my life so um i guess i will incorporate my first impressions um on this palette into this video and then if y'all want a separate video focusing on the palette then let me know so i was in Ulta and i picked up the new ColourPop and disney villains collaboration i picked up this misunderstood eyeshadow palette and honestly i'm dying to use it so i was gonna wait but like i can't like i can't wait and i'm pretty sure this is going to be my monday video so i might just make this my palette for the palette series for the week since it just came out but to be determined i will let you guys know how i feel about it so this is the palette and it is beautiful so it's not gonna really be tutorial-esque because obviously i don't know what i'm doing and i'm actually going somewhere um but we will see um what's good so i prime my eye with my makeup forever ultra hd concealer and now i'm just about to go in i'm going to take this shade and this is the shade devious this packaging is like reflective like holographic so that is what keeps like that's the shift that y'all are seeing oh this is a bomb transition shade Ooh. If you're lighter than me, this will probably show up darker on you. No, it will show up darker on you. That's just how most shadows work. Um, but this is a beautiful transition shade. I'm gonna try not to do like too much. Um, especially because I probably should be almost done by now i have no idea what time it is as i'm filming this my phone is upstairs so i have no idea oh oh this is nice so i'm going to oh it's only one two three four five five um mattes in this palette just fyi i'm gonna take this blue shade and that's called the fates and that is one of the mattes and i'm going to pop that in my crease first i'm going to pop it on the outer corner this is pigmented and then sweep in it into my crease this shadow like these shadows are so buttery and creamy like I am shook city. Like, y'all don't even know. Ooh. Should this be like a smoke guy? Mm -mm. And then, what should I put on my lid? This green, it's calling me. But like, the lipstick that comes in the set that I got is, I just want to use it. I'm going to take this green, and that is the shade Diablo. Ooh. I'm going to pop that. This doesn't have a mirror. I was definitely about to try to use it, but it doesn't have one. Oh. Wow. These shadows are so freaking pretty. Wow. Should I just pop that in my inner corner too? Oh my god, it's a darker green too. Should I use that too? 
I don't feel like I should, but like. Ooh. I did not expect to do something super colorful with this palette right now, like to name, but like, I'm not mad at it. I'm definitely not. I'm going to do my lower lash line while I'm here and I'm going to take my Urban Decay 24 seven glide on pencil and main line and pop this down there. I added that blue to my um, top lash line too. That is pretty. Oh my goodness. Mm, mm, mm. Go color pop. It's your birthday. Go color pop. It's your birthday. Get your swerve on. It's your birthday. It's your birthday. It's your birthday. So I think that these lashes might be perfect for this look. These are the Kiss Lash Couture Naked Drama Collection in Chiffon. So I'm going to pop these lashes on, dust this powder off, and then um, I'm going to be back. Y'all know that Kiss Lashes and Camisole are like the goat for me. Um, but they might have did something with this like more natural line. They they might have did it. They might have did it. Okay, I'm not sure, but these look good. Like, oh, I love me a good lash. Y'all already know it just melts my heart. Um, we're gonna go ahead and move on to the rest of the face now. So I'm going to go ahead and put on why am I about to put on blush first? 100 percent i just almost played myself so i'm gonna add some of my becca bronzer in maui night that i have my bronzer on i'm going to add blush i don't know why i was about to put blush on for doesn't matter whatever we're gonna move on with it so i'm gonna use my milani baked blush in bellissimo bronze That didn't add enough color for me. Like, I feel like it looks like it gave me a good amount of color, but like in my face, it's not enough. So I'm gonna take this Black Radiance Blush in Toasted Almond. Mm -hmm. So I got a highlighter from the collection too. Actually, okay, I got the little, one of the little kits they had and I got the Ursula kit and it comes with a highlighter, um, a lip gloss and a lipstick and this is what the packaging looks like. So this is what the highlighter packaging looks like. Basically the same exact thing as the box. Um, but this highlighter that came in this kit is like an iridescent purple and I'm not really sure how that's going to translate on my skin but I'm going to put some oh y'all that's purple wow like purple purple <laughs> like it doesn't look bad but it's definitely purple like i don't know maybe if i use my like my actual highlighter brush and then it won't throw me off like maybe i should have used different colors Maybe I'm putting it on wrong. Oh. Oh, wow. Okay. So the lip gloss that came inside of this set is Sad But True. And it's like an iridescent. Um, it's clear, but it's like, it looks like it has like purple reflex, you know, to like go with the highlighter. This is pretty. Ooh. Mmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. That that was perfect. Okay, so I'm going to spray my face. Um, I'm going to actually do this off camera and add a couple of wand curls and then I will be right back. 
all right so this is me in my final form i know when i came on here i was looking crazy but now i'm looking cute okay i didn't think that this purple highlighter would agree with me but i am loving it i honestly only bought the set because i wanted the lip gloss that was in the set and the lipstick that was in the set but this highlighter oh something took my nose good girl i put it on my shoulder when i'm taking pictures i'm about to be out here stabbing starting on these girls whoo I am shook city at myself right now. Okay, let me get up and show you guys the outfit. Hold on one second, one second, one second. So this is what my outfit is looking like. It is a jumper, so it has pants, leg, and then this little side, this is like a little cover up part, and then this side is a shorts. I love this thing. I got it to wear to the Marine Ball, but they never ended up having one. So this is how it looks and honestly it's fire so yeah <laughs> so that's all for today's video honestly i love it if you love it too make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you're not already subscribed to my channel then make sure you hit the subscribe button because if you're not already um but hit the notification bell so every time i upload a video you get a notification you can be here you don't miss nothing what's going on you already up to date all the time always every day um but that's all i gotta say for this video so yeah like i always tell you guys i'm your girl tiffany thank you so much for watching and i will see you on my next video